Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our celebration of this Mass and this memorial Mass for St. Thomas Aquinas, priest and doctor of the church. And today's Mass intention is being offered for the repose of the souls of Jamie Wandel and Henry Pinka, also for the special intention of Carmel Pereira. Entrance Antiphon. In the midst of the church, he opened his mouth, and the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding and clothed him in a robe of glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Our brothers and sisters, ever mindful of God's generosity of heart and how compassionate he is to us, let us acknowledge our sins before him and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Thomas Aquinas outstanding in his zeal for holiness and his study of sacred doctrine, grant, we pray, that we may understand what he taught and imitate what he accomplished. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since through the blood of Jesus we have confidence of entrance into the sanctuary by the new and living way he opened for us through the, through the veil that is his flesh. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us approach with a sincere heart and in absolute trust with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed in pure water. Let us hold unwaveringly to our confession that gives us hope, for he who made the promise is trustworthy. We must consider how to rouse one another to love and good works. We should not stay away from our assembly as is the custom of some, but encourage one another, and this all the more as you see the day drawing near. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, Lord, this is the, the people, people that long to see your face. face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, Lord this, this is the, the people, people that long to see your, your face. face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. 
Lord, this is the people that long to see your face. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. A lamp to my feet is your word, a light to my path. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Is a lamp brought in to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed, and not be placed on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden except to be made visible. Nothing is secret except to come to light. Anyone who has ears to hear ought to hear. He also told them, Take care what you hear. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you, and still more will be given to you. To the one who has, more will be given. From the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It is good to be assured once again that God made us for a generosity that mirrors his own. And in the light of what St. Thomas Aquinas did, you know, he reflected the generous heart of giving of himself in service of the church. And he wrote wonderful uh, treaties as well as the Soma Theolo Theologica which uh, now we, we use it in the seminary to um, part of the formation of the priests. But his generosity is something that we can also take to heart. That we, as we are exhorted to cling to our faith because God is trustworthy, we trust him, we, we trust in him because of who he is. God, knowing that he will always be with us, doing the work he's called us to. Again, Jesus is the prime example and model for us of the one who submitted his will to the Father and generously gave everything of himself, even to death, so that by his dying and rising, we may live and have new life and have it to the full. That's how, God, how generous God is. And when he gave us his, as he called us to, he goes with us and beyond us, demonstrating and living, inviting us to the generosity of total self-giving. It's not easy. That's why we need the grace of God and example of wonderful men and women like St. Thomas Aquinas to inspire us and show us that we can trust God. He will do what he promised because he's trustworthy. Let us now turn to our generous God and bring him our prayers and petitions. For our church leaders, may the Lord conform them to his generosity in their faith and service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our civic leaders, especially here in our country, especially those who are newly elected, may God grant them wisdom and courage in working for racial justice in our communities, as well as for the protection and respect of human life from the moment of conception to natural death. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are living in fear, especially due to coronavirus, and during this pandemic, many people are struggling, especially for families here in our community who are having hardship. May the Lord com comfort them with the firm knowledge of his presence we pray to the Lord. 
Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, may the Lord increase the measure of faith given us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick, especially our members of our community and those we remember this time, particularly for Father Tony Astudillo, for Father Percy Bacani, and all those who are infected by coronavirus are, that are in, still in hospitals and those in ICU. We also pray for the recovery of Tom Shea, one of our parishioners, that God will give them strength and healing. For them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us in the hope of eternal life, especially for the repose of the souls of Jamie Wendell, Henry Pinka, and Choli Jamora, also for Francisco Indra Wajid, Wajaja, Wajaja, Keith Valentin Carls, and Rita Carls. May the Lord soon bring them into his loving embrace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Let us now offer our own petitions to God our Father in silence. And we also pray for the special intention of Carmel Pereira. For all these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, receive our prayers and answer them according to your holy will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of his holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of blessed St. Thomas Aquinas be pleasing to you, O Lord, for taught by him we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Thomas Aquinas, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life.
teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Jamie, Henry, Francisco, Keith, Rita, and Choli, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Thomas Aquinas, with St. Peter Claver, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by, divine, by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. Of the world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us say together the act of spiritual communion, which is also posted on your screen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Through Christ the teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of blessed Saint Thomas Aquinas, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As of January 25th, the Ventura County CDC or health authorities still uh, lifted up the stay home uh, mandate. And again, only outdoor uh, events will be allowed here, particularly for places of worship. So we're still doing outdoor masses uh, until further notice according to the, the news. So um, if inclement weather, if there's a change in the weather and it's, the, it's raining or, or windy, that's when we make sure that you watch out for it in our bulletin um, announcement in the Facebook page as well as Paris website uh, to, to keep you updated and when we do cancel it, we will have live streaming of the Mass uh, for your convenience. So, again, uh, this is unprecedented time, and we do whatever is best measure that we can do. So we continue to reach out to you 
And let's continue to pray for one another and pray that through the vaccine that is now available, that we will soon back, come back to some normalcy or maybe call it new normal um, and be better. Thanks once again to my tech team for their loving service. Please pray for them as well and for their families. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.